So in this question, the ball is being projected vertically upwards. So the actual motion of the ball, um, if this is the ground here, it would start 19.6 meters above the ground. It would be projected vertically upwards and gravity would mean that it would turn round and then hit the ground four seconds later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a graph. We don't need to draw this graph, but it sometimes helps for the understanding um, of displacement against time. So this is vertical displacement because it's only traveling vertically. There's no horizontal motion. So in the question, the ball and it's a good idea to underline the key points. OK, so it starts 19.6 metres above the ground. It is projected upwards and then hits the ground four seconds later because time is moving on, even though it's actually just its motion is really like this. So first thing to do is decide on the direction of motion. We can either decide that the direction of motion, is, the positive direction of motion is upwards or downwards. And it doesn't make any difference to the final answer. You'll get a positive or a negative value and you will have to use common sense to decide which is relevant. So I'm going to class the direction of motion as being positive in the downward direction. So it's a good idea to mark that on your diagram or somewhere. First of all, fill in the SUVAT values. So we know that its distance travelled is from 19.6 metres above the ground. It's going up and then it's going back down. But its displacement from 19.6 metres above the ground is 19.6 metres when it reaches here. It's been displaced 19.6 metres, even though its distance is further in that four seconds. So 19.6, and as we're moving this way, that's positive. If I class this direction as um, uh, the positive direction as upwards, that would be, have to be negative. We don't know its initial velocity. We don't know its final velocity. We know that its acceleration is only due to gravity moving freely under gravity, it says here. So that's 9.8, and as the direction is positive downwards, 9.8 is positive, and time is positive. So now we just need an equation that links S, V, A, and T, so no U in that one. S equals V, T minus a half A, T squared. So just plug in the values, 19.6, equals 4b minus a half 9.8 4 squared and then uh, we calculate that to be 78.4 so we add 78.4 to the, both sides getting 4v equals 98 and v equals 24.5 meters per second. Now that velocity is positive because we class the downward uh, direction as positive. If um, we class the upwards direction as positive that would be negative. Um, so for the speed we take whatever is the positive um, value of this because it's really just the size of it, the magnitude of it. It doesn't, uh, it's not a vector quantity so it doesn't take into account the direction. So the speed is 24.5 meters per second.